If you're looking to start or scale an Airbnb business, you have at least five to seven hours a week to put into this, and you have at least a small amount of capital to start with. I wanna give you my seven step framework for free and how I was able to go from zero to $320,000 a year in revenue in my very first year of Airbnb in the Arbitrage. Hi everyone. So let's create this great motion graphics reel in After Effects. As you can see, the design over here, okay? The design is so nice, okay? And the concept is so good. Also, he has used the brand color so perfectly, okay? So that it is getting a good minimalistic vibe. So let's replicate this. First of all, as you can see, this is the first scene, okay? So we are going to make these lines, okay? First, I'll make a new solid, okay? Hit OK. Keep this color same as the original reel. Okay, and then what we are going to do is make some lines. So basically I'll select this pen tool, delete the fill, enable the stroke. I'm going to go over here and enable proportional grid. Okay, so this will give us, you know, a reference. Let's make the grid now. So I'll put one here, then here, then I'll put another here and here as you can see you have got the same design over here but the lines are thinner so what i'm going to do is select all of them and let's make it four okay yeah now it looks much better now as you can see in the starting what happens is only this line is there and then this line comes with the star revealing the text okay so First, what we'll do is make this star, okay? So, I want to select this star tool, make this, okay? And then open this polyester path, make the points to four, okay? Let's zoom this in. Then let's increase the sorry decrease the inner radius increase the outer radius and inner roundness we have to increase thing like this okay so we get a star let me just make it a bit smaller and now let's fill this with this red color okay and what I'm going to do is simply delete the stroke. Okay. Yeah. So we have also got our star. So let me just rename this to star. Okay. This line and this line, it is connected to the star. Okay. So let's put it over here. We'll introduce a new null object and then rename it to star control okay then what we can do is select all those things okay the two lines and the star and then parent link then to the star control now let me just hold y and drag this anchor point towards the center of the star okay now as you can see if you move this it is still moving and if you want to rotate the star okay it will rotate in its own place without disturbing the lines okay so we have got that down now the next thing which we are going to do is do the animation with the text okay now we have got everything the only thing is remaining the animation so let's start the animation first I'll just here bring my you know this preview line till here then i'll head on to my star control and hit position keyframe now i'll go to the start and hit position keyframe and bring it over here it will come down like this okay now we have to also rotate it so select the star these two first I'll select the star and these two shape layers. Okay, these lines hit T while opening the opacity keyframes. Go ahead over here till one second. Okay, and then again hit the opacity keyframes. Go to the first keyframe and make it zero. 
I'll select these F9 and then drag this to the left select this F9 drag this to the left okay so you've gotten this but we need to rotate the star too so I'm going to open this star hit shift R for rotation click on rotation keyframe go ahead and then let's rotate it one time okay so I'm hitting one here I'll just hit shift P okay to also open position keyframe for my star hit on position keyframe and rotation and go ahead and then I'm going to you know also hit on scale then go ahead somewhere here okay increase the scale parameter okay and then just you know put the rotation means position over here rotate it bit rotate it a bit and then go ahead and then drag the position out again just rotate it okay like as you can see we can also you know increase the scaling a bit more shift it towards the upper region then at the end I can just you know decrease the scale okay now it looks good simply I'll select this okay and then F9 so what we want is first it will you know be slow and then fast and then slow again so first we'll drag this out then I'll make it straighter okay make this straight also then drag this and then when it goes out we'll be moving to the next frame okay so this text is there nothing new with the text okay airbnb business and then this so what we are going to do is as you can see the design is very good okay but the animation is simple so when it is here simply just you know select everything okay except the star and star control and the background and then hit alt and right bracket to cut it okay I'll just select this rectangle tool okay and make a rectangle like this okay and then what I'm going to do is simply you know hit stroke okay change the stroke color to this red and delete the fill okay now I'll just rename this to tangle out box okay head on to contents and then select stroke hit plus here in the dashes and then increase the size okay something like this and what we can do just after here you know we can start this so I'll just hit on offset go ahead something like here and then increase this now for the next part the text so I'll just hit control D for this previous text okay bring it over here okay and write Airbnb business then I'll bring my PNG of this house okay and let's put it like this and then for this part this ground part as you can see what we can do is just go to pen tool okay and then let's disable the fill enable the stroke okay and now let's just you know click here here okay. 
now we have to just move it okay now simply I'll just head on here and select for drop shadow okay and put it on our home increase the opacity and distance and softness okay so we'll get this effect so now we have got this okay and what we have to do is simply select these okay and put it below our star and just we have to start from here so hit alt and left bracket to cut everything okay this is simple text okay you can do this yourself and then for this directly so what is happening is directly scene is cutting from here okay so hit alt and right bracket to cut everything okay except the background so i'll stretch the background okay ellipse tool make an ellipse okay hit okay and delete the stroke now as you can see here so what we are going to do is basically select again ellipse tool and make sure this you have hit this tool creates mask and then make another circle inside this then feather this okay now as you can see you have got this same look of the circle place it over here okay and then this okay as you can see this is rotating the text is very simple you can do that but this part let's do it so what I'll be doing is bring my alarm clock okay hit S to make it small and then put it over here again I'll bring my you know drop shadow and put it on this alarm clock increase the opacity distance and now select this okay and hit R for rotation okay select all of this and hit alt and left bracket okay and after you you know hit R for rotation just click on the keyframe go ahead and then rotate it a bit to the right and then go ahead again and minus 6 okay so it will be plus 6 and then minus 6 now you have to just you know copy this go ahead and paste it okay select these all hit alt and spread it out now what I'm going to do is go here and say search for posterize time then I'll hit new okay bring in another adjustment layer and then bring the posterize time inside this and let's make it 15 Okay, so you get this effect hit alt and left bracket so it's there only in this frame okay so this will be all moving smoothly okay and from here it will be a bit slowish or sluggish this movement okay and how we did this okay uh, wait this part okay this rectangle part okay just instead of the rectangle select a circle and then make this okay and then you can do the text now for this next part okay it's the same thing okay the same thing you have to do okay but what is happening here is the only thing which is changing is the color of this okay and the background is red and then text is black okay so this video is mainly about the design okay as you can see it's mainly about the design so you can just you know 
select all of this hit alt and left bracket right bracket sorry to cut it and then you have to just select new solid and then select a red color I'll just copy this shape layer bring it over here and above okay and now you write the text and then this thing okay so this and then this okay now for this next part it's very easy again you know this dotted line same thing he has done okay now he has used his you know pen tool to make that so how you can make that is very simple just select your pen tool okay let's delete the fill and enable stroke white click here okay and then whatever path you want to make okay so perhaps let's select this as the path and then we'll you know make our stroke to around let's say seven and then do the same thing which is head on to contents shape stroke and then dashes increase the dashes okay and you will get this okay same as this okay and similarly use the offset keyframes to move this thing okay by using keyframes now the next part is again this text is simple this person image so in this one okay the animation is very simple so there are three animations taking place here first is this text second is this eye animation okay and third is this okay hand animation for this covering eye animation what we can do is simply you know just bring this okay hit s to make it big okay and then select this stroke select the stroke color okay make the stroke bigger okay something like this and then add the effect rough and edges and put it over this okay and now what you have to do is simply follow me to make the following changes to the settings okay okay so you know you'll get this look and then for the animation what you can do is simply you know select this hit y to drag the anchor point here okay and then just simply hit s for scale and then deselect this hit scale properties go ahead okay again hit scale go to the first keyframe and drag this here select this f9 And as you can see you'll get this effect okay so we are done with this effect too for this one it's very easy just head on to you know uh, Google and search for the images like uh, hand holding wallet okay like I have got wait let me show you it will be also in the description just put it behind okay over here add some PNGs of you know dollar and then it's done okay so you know this is how this animation was made hope you learned something new from this video see you in the next